Good morning, Patriots. JT here, Serenity Farms Prepping. I need to address a topic that I did about two and a half years ago called Trump the Trojan Horse, where I suggested that everything we've seen happen the last three plus years was a PSYOP setup to make Trump look like the poor woe is me guy knowing full well he was selected to take his turn back in 2016 and all the Hillary scuttlebutt was all part of the plan to make it look bad Trump gets in allowed to do some good things never finishing any of them and then after the country had calmed down and were starting to feel good about themselves after eight years of Kenyan trader Barry Hussein Obama Sotero Mike's bitch Trump was brought in to stop any rioting, looting, assaulting, burning and that kind of stuff because remember, there was a 16-year plan, according to everyone. And Hillary was going to get in and finish us off in 16. Well, ironically, Trump did four. And it's only taken pedo Joe three and a half to do what they said Hillary was going to need eight to do. That's weird. So now that the country is once again ready to riot, loot, assault, burn, and murder, it's time to calm down the masses so that the noose can be fully tightened because everything that's been set in motion is irreversible, unstoppable, and there are no plans to do either. Even if Trump was a good guy, there's nothing they can do to stop what's coming. Except bring in his plans. And that's what I want to allude to in a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So, the reason I need to bring this all back up, I don't want to, but I feel that I need to, and I should, so that everyone can hear what I say, decide whether they want to look it up and research it, and make their own decisions. And, last Friday, Friday, in his daily podcast, a guy that does the news natural on his own platform, very bright, kind of stole my thunder and said a lot of the things that I said three years ago. And brought up a couple more that added credibility to my thoughts. At least just to my thoughts. That doesn't mean we're right. It just lent some credence to what I was thinking already. Neither one of us want to be right. But we've got to investigate it. So... The establishment controls everybody. Trump never would have been allowed to do what little he did unless he was allowed to do it. Now look at the majority of the picks of the people he surrounded himself with. None of us would have, but he did. And it wasn't to keep a close eye on them and set up the whole damn thing either. 
despite the premise of his TV show, he's not a very good judge of character. Or he is a character in the same movie we've all been watching for years. So the last four years, it's been, woe is me, donate money, buy my watch, buy this gold coin, buy this hat, look at these judges, and it, but nothing's happening except the name keeps getting richer. The people who worship the chosen one, his own words, and have a severe case of idolatry are flocking to him. Now it may all be true, but their unquestioning loyalty and outright refusal, denial, inability to even consider that they're being psyoped and are part of a cult is disturbing. Many of these followers are extremely vile and disgusting and derogatory. And you're a troll or a bot or a troll bot, whatever the heck that is. If you dare blasphemy the name. So, M.A., who is the aforementioned channel and podcaster, also reiterated that the globalists, the establishment, the deep state, whatever you want to call them, nothing gets done unless they allow it to get done. So Trump was allowed to do, start a lot of the things he said he would so it could appear that it was promises made, promises kept. But starting these things, yeah, he did say he would start them, but he said he would do them. You know, like, I'm going to indict them all. She's going to be arrested. I'm going to build the wall. They all, none of them, name one. Okay. So, if you just continually use the little play on words, promises made, promises kept, everyone will be like, yeah, he started all those things, but the the Democrats stopped him. Did they? Okay. So, a lot of circumstantial stuff there that could lead one to easily see. I mean... Come on, the biggest thing, he pushed hard, hard, hard for 5G, which we now know is an activator for the thing, which he also spent $5 billion of our money. He upped the budget ridiculously, the national debt. He banned bump stocks, so he's still pro-Second Amendment. His campaign has flying the colors of the sadistic pedophile rainbow. But yet he calls himself a Christian and all his loyal Christian followers simply overlook the glaring absurdities in a lot of the do as I say not as I do stuff that happens so if and I say if if it's all a big Truman show as the other person says and Trump is going to get back in in 2024 regardless of everything that's going on because it's all just being staged to set up making Trump look really good. And 
when he gets in, all the cultists who have sat on their butts and did nothing for the last three and a half years because they're waiting for someone to save them will sit on their butts again and think all is well. But there is no food, no water, no medicine, no supplies, no heat, and no food infrastructure. Nothing. And how do we get all that? Where do we get all that? There's no chance for that stuff to be brought back in before millions, millions die. We produce nothing in this country. All by design. So I'm not saying he's the anti-guy. Because according to some, that person hasn't been exposed yet. But there is also documentation by other people from way back that say he is. I don't know, Len Horowitz did a, a video agreeing with what I and MA just said about Trump being a Trojan horse. There's even paperwork from the Clinton campaign by Pedo Podesta stating we can use Trump. We'll fit him in. We'll make it seem just like I just described. Nobody wants to hear anything. They are blind. The PSYOP, if it is one, has been made so terrible by the current crop of uniparties that everyone is unwilling, unable, they won't entertain the thought that they could be being played like they would never believe. They can believe in a cult, but they can't believe anything that would go against the cult. Wouldn't that be the perfect setup? If it is, we're done. Oh, all right. So, the globalists want to bring in a CBDC. There's a QFS that's almost identical in definition to it. Both digital. So, what's the difference? Oh, well, the globalists will control the bad one, and Trump will control the good one. Really. Control being the key word in both of those. Now, the globalists want to bring in a UBI. Literally, just yesterday, I saw where Trump was promoting a UBI. Weird. Also, total control. There's been a map with 10 FEMA cities on it for years. Trump talks about 10 freedom cities. Also, strange. Those three coincidences alone send shivers down my spine. I do think we're being played. They may even try a attempt on the orange guy's life to ensure that he is further endeared to the masses. We all got some... I think we get to 2024. I've been saying we weren't going to, but now I think we do because it really makes sense. I think we do. I'm not saying we do. I'm hoping I'm wrong. What do you guys think? I know I'll get something on this one. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JG, signing off.